that you're well. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new version of the Aristo stand by Needlemeads, the maker of the Millennium Frame. Most of my stitching I do in my own home and I use Needle Knees Necessaire floor stand to support my Millennium Frame. But there are many, many times throughout the year when I use my Aristo stand, predominantly when I'm travelling or if I'm going to a workshop or a class. Now, I have been um, eagerly awaiting the new version since I found out that one was being made. And this week, the new version arrived. Now, um, when I opened up the box, um, in the box there is one base. I'm showing two bases here. This is my old base and this is the new one. They are identical. The difference is all about the uprights. And with the new version of the Aristo stand, you get two pairs of uprights with two pairs of support arms. The support arms are identical. You get two pairs to save you having to change them over between the two different heights of uprights. Now, um, the tallest upright makes this the perfect height to use as a lap stand. And the shorter upright makes this perfect to use as a tabletop stand. Um, the old uh, Aristo only came with the taller uprights. Um, I'm just short of five foot five um, and I found that when I was sat at a table I was just a little bit too short to comfortably be over my frame to work. So I always needed a cushion uh, or maybe two cushions to sit on just to lift myself up. But now I won't have that problem. Um, when I'm travelling, I can take one base and two pairs of uprights with me and it doesn't matter whether I sit in an armchair in a hotel room or if I am at a table uh, in a conference room stitching. Uh, I know that I have all my bases covered. Um, the Aristo stand, um, it's a great little product. It's designed to work with all the different sizes of frames that Needle Needs make. Now their smallest frame is the Little Wizard and that sits very, very comfortably um, on the Aristo stand. Um, now the Little Wizards aren't easy to get hold of because John only occasionally makes these but if you want a frame of this size you can easily do that with the components of the Millennium Frame. You just use the smallest side stretchers and the smallest uh, top and bottom bars and you can recreate a frame of this size. So that works very, very nicely on both the versions. Um, you know, the height doesn't really have any difference to how it supports the frame. So that is the smallest one. Now the average size frame I think for most people would be 20 inches. Now, if I was using a frame um, that was wider than this position, all I would do is loosen these screws and move this, stopping anywhere along this groove that's suited. So I'm going to open this up to the widest position, and then when I'm stitching um, on this project, I have this whole area to um, move around. And you can see, even though these are the lowest um, support um, uprights, I have plenty of room to be able to stitch two-handed. And then um, the largest frame that Needle Needs make is the 36 inch. And as you can see, that sits very comfortably on um, this tabletop stand, um, lap stand as well. Um, the other thing that um, you need to uh, think about when you're working on the Aristo stand is the angle that you want your work. And you can change the angle very easily just by slattening off the screw and finding the right position for you. 
Um, the other small alteration that John made to the um, Aristo is in the um, both different heights of uprights. But what he's done um, in the old version, the upright sat slightly higher than the support arm. In the new version, the support arm sits higher than the upright. Um, and I'm very pleased that John had done that because I like working um, with my fabric rolled so that the front of my work is on the inside. So when I put my frame on the stand, um, it's the underside of my work that's resting on these support arms. And that meant that the, um, these little protrusions were sticking up a little bit in my linen. It didn't make any difference when you worked with your fabric, uh, the top of your work rolling so that the top of the work sat on these bars, which I don't agree with doing whatsoever. Um, that gives you a clear height. But when you work this way, they would just stick up. But now, with the new um, uprights, there is a clear area between these two. So that's another really good um, modification. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this. Um, I think it's pretty much perfect. The product is made from sustainable um, birch wood and it is built to last a lifetime. And I'm looking forward to um, spending the rest of my life stitching on it, actually. Very, very pleased with it. Um, I hope that if you um, secure a wrister stand, you will be pleased with it too. If you already have um, an Aristo stand, um, you may uh, ask John if he will just sell you the updated uprights. Um, I don't know. I'm not connected with him. It's something that you would have to ask him. Um, and also, if you want an Aristo stand, they very rarely come up on his website. He only makes one or two batches a year. The best thing you can do if you want an Aristo stand is to ring him. Um, he will take your name, he will put it on a waiting list. When the project is available, he'll ring you and let you know and you can make payment then. Um, they are worth waiting for. They are super products. Um, I couldn't imagine um, stitching on anything other than my Millennium Frame, my floor stand and my Aristo stand. I do occasionally use a hoop when I'm actually stitching on the go, and I mean like on a plane or in a car or a train, uh, but I do prefer to stitch two-handed, so I do need um, some way of supporting my work. And the Aristo stand and the Necessaire floor stand are perfect for me and I'm sure that you will enjoy them too. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at the new Aristo and until the next time, bye-zee-bye.